Welcome to the How to Use the Assessment Tool Statistics demo. In this demo, you will learn how to use the Assessment Tool Statistics in D2L Brightspace. At the end of this demo, you will be able to use the Statistics feature in the Assessment Tool to find the standard deviation, point by serial, and discrimination index for each question on your assessment. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. On the gray course navigation bar, click the assessments link. Click the drop down arrow next to the name of the assessment that you would like to perform an item analysis on. Click statistics. Note that you can only get student statistical data once enough students have taken the test. In the tabs along the top of the page, click the Question Stats tab. This gives you a summary of the standard deviation, discrimination index, and point by serial of the assessment in a condensed form. If you want additional information, such as the question itself shown, and the number of students who chose each question answer possibility, then click on the Question Details tab. Let's go back to the Question Stats tab and talk about what these statistics mean. The standard deviation calculates how much the individual quiz question score varies from the average quiz question score. The discrimination index calculates discrimination in the question between the higher and lower performing students by subtracting the question's lower 27 percent from its upper 27 percent. The higher the difference, the better the question discriminates. A negative discrimination index means that the students who performed poorly on the test scored better on this particular question than students who performed well on the test, which is not what you want. If you have hard questions, you expect that the students who do better on your test will also be the ones to get the hard questions right. Better questions have this as a higher positive percent. The point by serial calculates possible correlation between the question score and the total quiz score with a value given between negative 1 and positive 1. Better questions have a point by serial greater than a positive 0.25. What does this mean to you? This means that you can look through the assessment information and search for negative or low discrimination indexes and point by serials. When you find them, first check your answer key to see if it is correct. Next, check the wording of the question to see if it can be improved. You have now successfully used the assessment tool statistics.